pupillary, pupillary, how do you say that word? Pup pupillary, Pup pupillary, that's the word. Pupillary, pupillary, <laughs> Pup pupillary, pupillary, pupillary. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I come to you yet again with, um, with messy hair. It's been a long day. It's, well, it's been a busy day. Trey and I booked a venue for our wedding. I'm so excited. We have been engaged since January, so for almost 10 months now, and we have done no planning. I have done no planning. I'm not really like a big wedding pers person. If it was, I think if it was up to us, we'd just like run to the courthouse, but there are a few people that, that would like us to have a wedding. And you know, it's fun. It's, it's something we should do. It's something we'll remember forever very excited. We're actually getting married at the hotel that he proposed to me at um, here in Baltimore and it's um, it's a beautiful hotel. It has a vintage marble staircase. I'm so excited for photographs. If you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do me a solid and subscribe to my channel. You know, I've gotten a few suggestions for other videos that I should do and I'm definitely interested. And um, if, you, if you comment something that you want to see me review, um, whether it be a subscription service or a product, I will look into it and if I have the ability to do it, I will review it. So today's video, um, I'm actually going to do a review on some online eyeglasses and a little bit of a how-to on how to order glasses online. Alright, so two things you're going to need when you sit down to order a pair of glasses online. Um, first, you're going to need a prescription and you can only get this from an eye doctor so you do have to go get an eye exam um, if you need prescription glasses. If you're just getting fashion glasses then obviously you don't need that. Um, you don't need anything. Just pick out what you want and get non-prescription <laughs> non lenses and you're good to go. So you're gonna have your prescription and you're also gonna want a you can use a ruler or I use a I have a fabric tape that I use and these are so handy. I highly encourage you to get one of these if you don't have one already, especially if you buy clothes online. These will save your life when it comes to shopping online. Um, I think I got this one from the Dollar Tree, so super affordable. They come in handy for all kinds of things. Um, eyeglasses as well. What is my hair doing, y'all? What is going on with my hair right now? So I ordered two pairs of glasses off of Firmu.com. Um, I ordered off of Firmu.com because they seem to have the best prices and they do a lot of deals. Um, I will say there does seem to be a little bit of a language barrier with the customer service there, but as far as um, frames go, lenses go, quality goes, I see no difference in Firmu than with like Glasses USA or Zenni Optical. Um, a good friend of mine uses Zenni Optical for all of her glasses and she loves them. The great thing about ordering glasses online is that they're cheap. Ordering eyeglasses in store, the prices are ridiculous. It's just unbelievable what you get charged to order glasses in store. Um, ordering eyeglasses online is ridiculously cheaper. I will link in the description box down below the website as well as each of the pair of the glasses that I bought. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the website, pick out whichever ones you like. Once you have the glasses picked out that you like, what Firmu does is they have it listed at the top um, if they're narrow or medium or wide. Um, I consider myself medium. I have a little bit of a noggin. So I have had glasses in the past that are too narrow for my head frame and they give you headaches. If you wear glasses, you know what that feeling is like. It's awful. Um, it's extremely frustrating. So I always go for medium size and I've found that for my head shape, they fit perfectly. Another thing that they show you on the website is they tell you the, they tell you the width of the lens and also the height of the lens. They also tell you how long or how wide the glasses are all together and how long the arms are. So you, so with your little handy dandy tape measure, you can tell whether or not something's going to fit your face appropriately. Um, a lot of these sites have like a try it on, upload your own picture and try it on thing and they don't work well. The sizes, the glasses are never to scale. Um, don't even bother trying to use them. It's a waste of your time. Just use a tape measure and figure out what the right what the right size is. Once you get the measurements that you want, um, you already know what sizes you're looking for, and you can compare those numbers to the numbers that are listed for glasses. 
Once you've picked out your glasses, it's going to ask you to put in your prescription. And that's where your prescription will come in. One of the most important things and easiest to mess up things is measuring your pupillary distance for eyeglasses. So what this does is essentially measures measures the center of your eyes and tells them where the center of your lens is. So where your eyes are looking so that your prescription isn't off center. Because when your prescription is off center then you end up with things like headaches, they don't work as well, um, you know. We want it all. This thing is important. Measure, measure, measure. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape measure, you want it on the centimeter side, and there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter. A lot of these eyeglasses sites use the millimeter um, measurement, so just so you know, there's 10 millimeters in every centimeter. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the zero line, and you're going to line it up with your right eye. And you're not lining it up at the, at the angle, you're not lining it up in the white, you're going to try, you want to line it up right in the middle of your eye. So you want to stand about 8 inches away from a mirror and you want to look directly at it and you're going to put the, that line straight ahead right in the middle of your eye. Then you're going to look directly into the mirror, you're going to close the eye that you've already measured while keeping the, the tape measure in place, you're going to close your right eye and you're going to look straight ahead and find the center of your eye and find what lines up with that. So mine is right from 0 to 6. It's maybe like right before 6 and measure a couple of times just to be sure and if you have someone to help you, get them to help you. I got my fiance to measure mine for me. We did it a couple of times just to be sure and then so let's say, let's just say that mine is from 0 to 6. That means 6 centimeters. That means my pupillary distance is going to be 60 millimeters. Um, some prescriptions have this on there already. Mine does not so it's something that I had to do myself. So with all of that out of the way, you pretty much have everything that you need to order glasses. The other thing to consider when you're ordering glasses online is your face shape. So I have a rounder face. I don't typically order rounder glasses. Rounder glasses are a little bit more trendy right now. So I did decide to go ahead and order a, a pair of each shape to show you how different they look on a round face. Um, if you have a square or face, rounder glasses look better on you. So the first ones that I got so these are a purple, these are a purple framed, um, they're just acetate, plastic. Um, I like them because they're lightweight, they're really comfortable, and I and the lenses fit me perfect. Um, I think I got these for $20. And that includes regular lenses. Um, obviously if you need bifocals or something like that, there is usually an upcharge. So this is what the square square frames look like. And I like these because they they don't make my face look rounder than it already is. Um, so I typically go for a square frame. Because rounder glasses are a little trendier right now, and I like to be trendy, I, did or I ordered a pair of round frames. These are metal framed glasses. And I like these too because they feel sturdier. And I really like the style of these too. They're also a purple frame. It's kind of hard to tell in my lights. But these are also like a, like a smoky purple. And I don't hate these. Um, I do like the way that they look. They're definitely more of a statement glass. But you can tell how having a rounder face in conjunction with rounder glasses, it makes your face look a little bit rounder. Um, not that that's a terrible thing. Stand on your truth. Got a round face and you want to rock round glasses. Do you? So they do still have a promotion going on for buy one get one free eyeglasses right now. And I think the promotion says it's $19. It could essentially be $19. Um, I can't remember how much shipping was. The shipping is around is under ten dollars for sure. I want to say it's like eight dollars. Um, I believe that if you use the coupon code free ship, you can get free shipping on orders over thirty nine dollars as it is. So, as far as each of these pairs of glasses goes, I am really satisfied with both of them, especially for how cheap I got them. Um, even if you didn't need glasses right now, Fermu runs runs deals all the time. Um, the shipping was pretty quickly. I think these got here in about a week and a half, and that's um, they usually process within the same day. And then um, after they process, they have to actually be made because they are made to fit your face. Um, the lenses have to be made to your prescription, so it takes about three to four days for the lenses to be made. And then um, I got a I got a tracking email when they were sent out. I've had no issues with them. They 
they do come in their own case um, and they each come with a cleansing cloth and a little eyeglass keychain yeah and I'm I'm super into them I'm not disappointed which got which do you guys think look better the round do you guys think the round ones look okay I'm, I'm like partial to stay in my safe zone and just wear like square ones. My little square hipster glasses. Which I guess they're not even really hipster anymore now, are they? They're just like mainstream. Which is fine. Whatever. I'm kind of mainstream myself. Yeah, so, um, like I said, all of the information that you need will be in the description box down below. And if you have any other suggestions for any other videos, you know what to do. Just leave me a comment. And I sound like a fucking phone receptionist. You know what to do. Just leave me a comment. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, tune in next week when I'll probably be doing my Stitch Fix or something else. 